Once again, we have a unique opportunity for our state to join the majority of other states who have either no reason absentee voting or early voting in order to open up the democratic process in their states. Now, I have heard uh, the arguments from some folks against this type of uh, legislation because they feel that there would be more fraud in none of the states in the United States that has uh, no excuse absentee voting. Is there any indication that there is more fraud? In fact, what it does is really open up the process for for voters. And I know, you know, we're, we're going to have a uh, probably a, a pretty um, uh, contentious Secretary of State's race that will be coming up in 2010. And what a wonderful opportunity for us to be able to go into 2010 having passed very progressive legislation on this issue. Uh, my colleagues and I went around the state. We heard from clerks, we heard from students, we heard from just regular voters who all asked to have this. I worked in the, um, the, uh, the boiler room, uh, so to speak, on election day, talking to people who had they had the opportunity to have voted early, would not have been calling with transportation problems or issues of health problems that um, uh, disallowed them from getting to, uh, to the polls. This is not a partisan issue. This is something that is good for both Democrats and Republicans to engage more people in the process. So I urge my colleagues to join the, I, I think actually only four states in the United States uh, doesn't allow either early voting. We are on third reading of bills, and the chamber is starting to get noisy. I would ask that members give their attention to the speaker. Senator, please proceed. Th thank you, Mr. President. I'm hoping that the chatter that we're hearing is people talking to themselves, saying, boy, I really need to do this this time. So I actually ask my colleagues, let's take this opportunity to move Michigan forward. We can do some incredibly progressive legislation right now, today. Thank you very much.